Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at the TarotEmpress.com. So I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this tarot card reading is I'm going to go through the energies that I'm picking up on very briefly and then I'm going to expand on it through clarification, okay? So let's start with the first energy. Now, the first energy is showing to me a very positive sort of energy. It's talking about contentment. It's talking about happiness, right? And this is a powerfully positive card because it's also linked in to emotional fulfillment. It's resonating very heavily with the energy of your love life during this period of time. So I feel like the universe is telling you that you have a lot to be grateful for when it comes to your love life. In terms of what and how, it's still to be explored, but we'll come back to this energy, okay? Now, the next energy is another positive card. So I was surprised when I was looking at uh, the energies that showed up for you. And uh, this card that um, I have is um, talking about confidence. It's talking about happiness. It's talking about the fact that uh, you're almost there in terms of reaching your objectives when it comes to your love life. This is a very positive, powerful energy. And it's coming out to say that uh, what you've been striving for in terms of your love life is within reach, okay? So these energies are lining up for you in a very powerful, powerful way. And it's allowing you to potentially, you know, experience the fruits of your labor and to not uh, be, uh, you know, suffering so much anymore. Now, before we go into how that is going to be affecting you and what it entails, you know, what does it all mean? Let's look at the next energy. The next energy is, you know, resonating with the energy of trying to work things out, trying to find solutions. And so I feel like you and this individual you're dealing with, you know, you could be on the brink of some major breakthrough because um, things are lining up for you guys. I have to say... I was a bit surprised at uh, the positive nature of all these cards. So there must be something happening, right? So if you're feeling good and you don't know why, or if you're feeling like, yeah, we can work this out, we can find a solution, you know, things don't have to be so difficult, then, you know, it could be that certain energies in the universe are um, moving in a certain direction and there's an opportunity opening up that you absolutely must grab. So let's start clarifying these energies. For those of you that are unaware, there is going to be an extended to this reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Do check it out. If you want to know everything about your love life, then you may consider having a look at the yearly tarot card reading for your zodiac sign up Scorpio for the year 2020, covering everything from January to December 2020, focused on your love life. Okay. Now, the energies that I'm seeing about you working things out. This is an interesting energy because it's um, referring to working together with a person. And there's the energy of that. You may want to resolve your difficulties with this individual. You may want to, um, you know, come together, try to put the pieces back together, try to make things work again. And that's an exciting energy because I feel like it's there, it's presenting itself to you. But the problem with the situation is the individual you're dealing with, there's a hesitation on their part to take a chance on the situation. So I feel like, you know, there's this energy of where this individual is uh, very averse to taking risk at this point of time. And um, I feel like they are holding back. So in terms of that energy, right, you're coming to this relationship with the intent of resolving the difficulties. You also have this idea of what you want to accomplish with this relationship in terms of this person, which is your happiness. And I feel like you see yourself having 
a relationship that is bordering on marriage, commitment, stability, that sort of thing. Like you may even want to start a family with this person. And so their energy is showing to me that uh, they, they're sort of in their own world. I feel like they are afraid of the unknown. They don't really know what they would get involved in when it comes to being in that sort of uh, committed relationship, the level of it and what it would entail. So that energy alone is telling you that there is a hesitation on the part of this individual, even though the two of you could be on the brink of a very successful relationship. I do see that they're holding back. Now, the next energy is talking about you know, happiness and success and that sort of energy where you're almost there in terms of achieving your goals. You know, when it comes to your love life, you feel like, yes, you can have success in terms of the situation. But this success is muted by the fact that um, there's this energy coming across, which is very, very unique very different to what, uh, you know, you would expect. It's telling me that uh, there's a fantasy you have of this individual, right? Either um, this person reaching out or communicating or an opportunity presenting itself for communication or some form of uh, relationship here. There's an opportunity that has a uh, being presented or will be presented where the two of you can communicate and you're dreaming about this and you can't stop dreaming about it it's on your mind it's on your mind you want to um, make this into a reality you want to turn this into a success and I feel like that's uh, propelling you forward like I feel like you want to talk to this person you feel like if you have if you say certain things if you work out certain things with them you know they'll be on the same page as you but then going back to that energy that we saw where you want to go to the the table and work things out this individual is very hesitant to take that chance to take that risk you know maybe they had their fingers burned in a relationship with you or maybe they had their fingers burned in a relationship with someone else but there is that hesitation that i'm picking up so you see amidst the positive energy and what could uh, be a situation where there's an opportunity which is being presented to both you and this individual um, hesitation and fear as well as uh, you know not being able to act on impulses holding this person back from having uh, a wonderful relationship with you right so there is uh, other dimensions to it and that would be normal that would be normal so let's see I'm seeing that, uh, you know, in terms of that first energy that I mentioned earlier, you know, that energy of feeling like an extraordinary amount of contentment, satisfaction and joy, feeling over the moon, feeling like, yes, there's going to be success here, there's going to be happiness, there's going to be uh, joy. I feel like this is something that... Uh, you just can't walk away from. I feel like you can't walk away from this person. And uh, even though you feel like your energy is sort of all over the place, you feel like you are just, um, you know, sort of drifting along in this relationship and you, you can't figure out what's going to happen or how it's going to happen. You feel like you got to keep trying. You feel like you got to keep trying. I don't feel like you can let go. I don't feel like you can just walk away, right? So very unique, very unique energy that's uh, coming to play into the situation. But it's also compounded by the fact that there's another unique energy here, right? I, it, I find it strange to see that you would have such an extraordinary amount of happiness. And this would possibly, possibly be linked to the fact that um, this person is the only person that can make you feel happy like this, right? This person is the only person that can make you feel this amount of joy. But at the same time, you know, you have to back it up. It can't be all talk and no action, you know. It can't be a situation where you are just thinking out aloud about, oh, they make you feel so happy, etc. But, um, you know, what are you going to do in the situation to actually make this a possibility? It feels like you got to back it up. You know, that sort of energy is coming across. Whereas there's also uh, the the element of uh, dealing with, um, you know, 
it's sort of like the cause and effect of, of the situation, you know. I feel like you can't just assume that by talking about things, everything will uh, be fine. You know, you have to also take action. You're going to have to also make important decisions because um, with every decision, every choice that you deal with in the situation, there's always going to be, you know, consequences. There's always going to be repercussions. There's always going to be that sort of energy that is telling you that uh, your words have to um, be backed up by your actions. So the great, great uh, thing about this particular reading is the fact that it's showing to you that, yes, things can line up in this miraculous way and things are lining up, but how do you take these opportunities? How do you use it? How do you strike while the iron is hot, you know? Because uh, it's not all the time that these energies are placed here for you to uh, take, um, you know, chances or to do things in an extraordinary way. So what I'm going to be exploring in the extended reading is how can you get this person to actually take a chance? And in terms of the other energy, you know, um, I'm going to be looking at their feelings, what they're going through, what they are experiencing, etc. And uh, what you need to do in respect of it. Okay, you can find the link in the description box below. Make sure to check out the yearly tarot card reading for 2020 for Scorpio. There's also yearly tarot card readings for all the other zodiac signs. So in case you want to see what's going to be happening in the person's uh, uh, that you're dealing with your significant other's energy, you know, you can also check those readings out too. Have a wonderful day and take care.